Hey guys, Matt from SamRolling.com and today I'm going to talk about my little mistake with letting production give me kits. So, you've just seen the picture and essentially they wanted me to use a boom pole that was gaffer tapes um, to a microphone or a microphone gaffer tape to a boom pole, whichever way around you prefer. And this is obviously not great. And as soon as I turned up, I was kind of like, what the fuck? How does that even work? Uh, it didn't help that I'd already done a night shoot the day before, um, left all my kit at home and thought this would be nice. Someone's going to just provide kit. But I was wrong. And this is the whole point that uh, I keep just sharing. Whatever I'm doing, because again, there's no kind of definitive rule book as yet. Um, but I got lots of feedback, I posted the thing online and obviously everyone, uh, all of my respected peers, got very angry because it obviously shows that uh, this is going to uh, decrease rates, this is why you've got to bring your own gear and it's all, it's all very, very valid points and so I thought I'd just bring this up because, um, yeah, I haven't seen a video on it and uh, although I definitely could have uh, broached the, uh, the whole debate a lot more sensibly or I could have kept it under wraps and then just gone what do you think or this happened um, yeah I got this thing and yeah rightly so everyone got very very annoyed me um, so essentially let me run down why it's good to bring your own gear it's good to bring it because it's your own gear you know how to use it for one it's not broken it's well maintained this is all part of why you get kit fee uh, not just because you're bringing the kit but because you're maintaining it keeping updated uh, and bringing the best stuff um, Two, you're doing a really good job and that's because you're buying the best gear and you're obviously maintaining it and all of the other previous things and uh, you are solely responsible for both the gear and the actual job of doing it. You're not hindering yourself um, doing the job because of um, other circumstances, for instance, not having your own gear and bringing it in. Um, and third... Uh, yeah, you're just going to, because you're going to get better results, um, you're going to be uh, looked upon better as um, as a professional doing a, doing a service. And that can't be achieved if you're already being kind of shot in the foot by being given something subpar uh, that was expected to be a lot more. Um, so let's see, I, had, I did have some other stuff on this. I'm still like catching. I guess this comes down to if you don't have enough decent kit already that you need to, you need to rent in, um, you should never, your, your rate is essentially going to go down because you're not, um, you're not providing gear. And so it all, I guess, comes to about the commoditization of uh, sound and sound recordists, uh, which is definitely a thing that shouldn't be happening uh, for such a skilled um, skill profession that not many people know about as well. Well, not that not many people know about, but more people are, for instance, video savvy, um, like I am right now with my Osmo and my mobile phone. Uh, but even that to uh, camera people is obviously looked upon as, as bad, but it is a commoditization in some sense. Um, and so we definitely don't want that to happen with sound when people already know so little about it. Um, and so... Yeah, I guess that's kind of my whole topic. I'm really interested to hear more of your thoughts and just get this kind of topic out there in general. Um, I definitely won't be doing that again, even though it seemed like the easy route at the time, um, because then I didn't have to schlep all my kit across. Uh, it's just basically me, making me look bad, making me look like a bit of a douche. And uh, we don't want that, do we? So, um, yeah, sorry again to the people that I absolutely pissed off. <laughs> With a thing, again, it's tough, especially if uh, work's drying up. Uh, I know lots of people are always going through different phases of being in work and out of work, and it just seems like I'm just grabbing it because I don't know what I'm doing or I don't care about the community, but that is a lie, uh, because obviously I'm trying to do lots for the community. So, again, won't let this go on for too long, but that's my two cents. Let me know yours, and I will see you later.